Hello and welcome everyone to this video on Creating Custom Tables and Structures by Zarentech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarentech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. Hey everyone, today we are going to understand the concept of custom table and custom structures. It is a really important concept in SAP Web. So before starting with implementation, I am going to tell you something about these concepts. So understand it like this way. Custom tables are basically a physical database where we actually store data. In SAP, whatever we will be storing in any place, there must be a table where the data will be stored. But custom structures are like a collection of fields and their data types where you will not be storing any actual data. Okay. So, I am going to take a requirement that how we can create a custom table and a custom structure. Then I will use that structure inside the table for storing the data. So, for creating a table, the first step is go to AC11 transaction code, press enter and then you will give a name for your table. Suppose I want to create an employee table. So, I will give EMPL, ZEMPL for employee and select this database table radio button and click on create button. Now, you will give a short description. I will give as employee details. Okay. Then there is a delivery class. Delivery class is like where the data will be delivered. So, I will simply select the application table and here you will provide the date display slash maintenance allowed which means you will allow others also to manage this particular table. Now we will click on fields tab. Since I want this table to be a client dependent table so I will give the first field as mandate which is basically means client dependent mandate and I will make it as a primary key. Press enter. Now, I my first field is going to be employee ID. So, I will give as employee ID. Then, I will give a data element for it. So, Z employee ID. Okay. There is already a data element present. I am simply going to give like this. So, since this data element is not present, I will double click to create it. Click on yes and assign the package and transport request. Yes, click on the create database element. Give your name as employee ID and copy it. In the field level, just pass it, employee ID, so that while entering data from SM30, you will see these field levels as the top of each and every columns. Now go to data type and create a domain for it. So I will simply giving the same name for the domain, double click on it, yes, assign the transport request and package, then again click on yes, give here employee ID. Uh, I am going to take data type as character and I will give the length as 3, press enter and click on activate button. Domain has been activated, click on back and again activate this data element. So, this is how my data element has been created here. Next, I will give employee name uh, ZAR employee name. I have already, okay, there is no employee name. Double click on it to create it. Employee name. Copy it. Go to field level. Assign it. Field level are basically the name, the heading of the column. So, it is always necessary to give it a descriptive name so that everyone can understand. Double click on the, this domain. Click on create button. There give a short description. Employee name. Data type will be again character. And I am giving the length as 40. Click on activate button, assign the transport request and package. Go to back, again activate the data element and go to back button. 
See, I have taken two fields, employee ID and employee name. Now activate this. Uh, I am going to mark employee ID as the primary key. Then I click on activate button. As soon as you click on activate button, one important thing is necessary. You will have to assign the technical setting that is data class. So I'm going to take data class as APPL0 for my master class. Then size category I'm taking. I don't want to store much data here. So I will select zero. Click on save button and go to back. Okay. Just here the technical settings are like this. You will have to assign data class and size category for your table. Then click on activate. My table has already been activated. Now table has been activated. You can store data directly from here. You will have to go utilities, table contents, create entries. Give suppose name as one, Rohit. And click on save button. You will see your one record has already been stored in the table. You in the display button, directly click on execute. You will see one record has been stored. Now you want that user can also make entries inside this table. So for that, we need to create TMG, click on table maintenance generator in authorization group, whatever the authorization group you will have, you have to pass. And if you don't want to provide any authorization group, you will pass N, N percent NC. In the function group, just copy the table and, and pass it. Maintenance type. Okay. Copy the table name and pass in the function group. Select maintenance type as one step. Click on find screen number, press enter and click on activate, sorry, execute generate button, create button and double click multiple times, double press enter multiple times so that our TMZ has been created. Now I can simply copy this table name and go to SM30. SM30 is like edit table, you are paste your table name and click on maintain. You can click on new entries to give another entry. I am giving Amrit. Here you can see we have two records here. Just click on back button. So this is how we basically create a table. Now I am going to show how you can create a structure. Go to SE 11. Select data type and give a name. Suppose I am giving the name as employee. Click on create button. This is already existing, so I'll be the struct. Click on create button, select the structure. Employee structure. I'm going to give just one field here. Uh, employee salary. Employee underscore salary. And I am going to give a data element for it. ZDMP salary. Click on double click on it to create it. Assign the package and transport request. Select data element. Click on OK. Salary. Copy it. Provide in the field level. Uh, here in the data type, you can directly assign the built-in type you don't need to create domain for each and every type i'm going to select built-in type here and i will assign data type as character length and in the length suppose i'm giving 10 simply click on activate button your domain has been activated click on back you can see your data automatic is coming character 10 length now you can activate here so this is how we create any custom structure. Now I am going to tell you the difference between a custom structure and a custom table. Look, if you want to create a table maintenance generator for this particular structure, you will click on utilities and you can see there is no table maintenance generator generation option. So we can cannot store any data in this particular custom structure, but these custom structures are very efficient for data fetching. So we basically use these structures into our table. Suppose I'm going, suppose go to SE 11 and see any standard table. Click on display button. What you will see? Oh, uh, 
look at this in this include you can see we have a lot of fields which are in green color so basically this is a custom structure double click on it you can see these all are a custom structure and what sap have done it has used the dot include for storing this so you can include any structure in your table and since these structures are more efficient for data fetching so it is they do not directly acquire any space in the database so it is always more preferable that we should store our custom structure in a table for storing the data so this is how you can create any structure or table via se11 transaction thank you very much